I was able to generate up to 200 high quality articles in just 10 minutes and I'm going to show you how I did this whole thing using two plugins right so if you have a WordPress website and you're tired of writing content in fact I mean high quality content you know to write a high quality content takes you roughly about an hour a content actually ranks on Google but what if you actually had a week and actually get this content to your website and it's fresh it's original you don't have to write and all you just need to do is just to probably submit it to Google so it can be indexed. I'm going to show you if that's what you want. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video, right? So we're going to be using two plugins, which is WP Automatic and WP Auto Spinner, right? So to get WP Automatic, I'm going to leave a link in the description for just $2, you'll be able to get WP Automatic. If you go over to Code Canyon, you'll see that the plugin is over $40 and WP Spinner is over a $60 or so, but I'm going to give you these plugins for almost free, right? So once you download the WP Automatic, you're going to reach out to me that you've, down, you've purchased this particular plugin with evidence of payment, then I send you the WP Spinner for free. You don't need to pay, right? So if that makes sense, let's just get right into the video. So the first thing you need to do right now is to go to the back end of a WordPress website. Now you're going to follow this instruction carefully so you don't actually miss a step and you see how this is done, right? So once you have your plugin installed, so you just go to your plugin, you go to um, installed plugins. I actually have this plugin installed already, so I won't be needing to go through all this process of installing the plugin. All right, so to install a plugin, you go to add new plugin. Then when you click on add new plugin, click on upload plugin, right? So you just choose the file you're, you want to upload. So I already have this plugin up uploaded and installed. So I'm just going to go to installed plugins. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is to scroll down. You're going to see where it says WordPress automatic plugin and WordPress auto spinner, right? So you need to follow me carefully so you don't miss a step, right? So now you go to automatic, then you click on new campaign. All right, so one thing about this plugin is if you actually go online and search for all this Nord plugin, the one um, these hackers actually provide for you guys, when you come to this section, it's not going to load these campaign options or probably even though it loads this, it's going to have one issue or the other, it's not going to work, right? So what you need to do right now is to actually add a title. This is a title just for your own organization so you can actually know what this particular campaign is doing, right? So let me say this website was in the digital marketing space. So I can just write digital marketing, right? For this category, let me say I want to create content around digital marketing, right? So I come here and I search for digital marketing. So it's that simple. So all I need to do right now is to come down and automatically is set to open AI GPT articles. So what I'm going to do right now is to click on feeds. So when you click on feeds, you'll be able to put in your feed URL. So I'm going to show you how to get that. So eventually you have a website that you want to actually get the feed so out. So what we're going to do right now is very simple. We just come here. We'll go to, okay, you can go anywhere on the website. Then what you do is right click. Then you go to view page source. The when you view this page source, you're going to click on control F right then you search for rss it's that simple so okay so they actually have the rss feed out so what you're gonna do right now is to copy this rss feed copy the link then you go back to uh, your campaign you put in the link here so what i'm gonna advise you is to copy as much link as possible so what you're gonna do right now is to just come here and search for digital marketing that's provided on, on the kind of niche you're into. So whatever is the niche, you can actually do this. So I'll say digital marketing, blogs, RSS, feeds, right? So what we do right now, you see feed spots, we actually give, a, give us a lot of results. So what we're gonna do right now is open this in a new tab. So once this is opened, we'll be able to copy um, these RSS feeds to uh, our website and we start getting high quality articles so we we'll say we can see i am most feed is available so i'm not gonna do that so social media examiner is available so i can copy this feed you know this is a um, blog that's actually doing so well copy this feed so what i do now i go back to my dashboard sorry yeah and i paste this here so what i'll do now is i'll add the https to forward slash to forward slash okay i think this is fine so you can actually add as much as you want depending on how much you want this content to be right so 
what you need to do right now is to scroll down to these settings right now we're going to do something carefully and why are we doing that so one thing about this scraper is once you scrape this content it's just going to publish this content to your websites without spinning them so what we're going to do right now is um we're going to scroll down here so you can actually leave other settings as they are but you can actually play with them depending on what you want right so we scroll down right so what we're going to do right now is um we're going to so you see this post type we're going to change it to um okay sorry not here we'll go down um so you can actually come here and choose a particular author for this particular um, category so depending on the kind of author so okay so we'll come here new post status we we'll change it to draft so while we're changing it to draft now auto spin automatically actually picks up any article that is put on draft and spins them then publish them okay so what we're gonna do right now is to uh just come here so you can actually choose a category from here and uh then what you do right now you save this to draft right so once you save this to draft that's all right so i'm going to click on save to draft and it's going to save to my draft all right so here we are in the auto spinner so now to get to this part all you just need to come here is to click on auto spinner right so we're not going to be doing anything basically here but this auto spinner actually has an automatic um um database of where it actually stores these words and this words actually helps with um spinning your articles and all of that right but we might not be using this you can actually use this if that's all right in case you don't have money for um chat gpt api to pay or you can actually watch my previous video where i explained what chat gpt api is and now you can use it right so if you actually have chat gpt api all you need to do right now is to come to settings now you click on settings so when you click on settings it brings you to this particular part of the plugin right so as you can see it says um when automatically spinning an article we write the post title as well so you can actually go through all the settings and play with them but i'm not going to advise you to do all of this so you don't want to check this you just want to activate automatic spinning for post right so all you want to do right now is to come down it says automatically rewrite manually written post if you want that if you don't want this you can actually uncheck this so now the settings you're actually going to play with right is this part it says by default scheduled post gets rewritten once published right activate this option if you don't want them to wait to publish right so once they actually put to draft we actually spin those articles and we publish them right it's that simple so for this one too says by default draft post gets spin once published right you want to activate this change your post status to publish after rewriting you want to check this all right so we, we, we scroll down and it this one is actually checked on automatically so the post type is post you don't want to rewrite um pages you just want to rewrite post then you scroll down now you're going to scroll down to the part where it says uh, you can actually come into exclude categories that's all right yeah so you want to come down to where it says um um you can actually use um the built-in um synonyms database like i said it has um an inbuilt database or you can actually use open ai gpt api so once you click on that it shows you where you can actually put your key so all you just need to do is just paste your key in here and that works right so once you're done pasting your key this will work automatically for some people you will need to actually do some things at your back end of your website all right let me explain what you might need to do so if you actually scroll up um so i'm just going to put this back to um use built-in um synonyms database so if you actually scroll up you will see where it says um um cron command right so you say copy this command to your hosting cron tab check this tutorial on how to set this up so what we are going to do right now is just copy this now so once we copy this um just log into the cpanel of my website all right guys so yeah i am on the cpanel of this particular website so what i'm going to be doing now is very very simple all you just need to do is just to scroll scroll and look for where it says advanced right so now this particular session is what we're going to be using we're going to be clicking on chrome jobs now i'm going to show you what you're going to be doing inside of this place so you don't want to make a mistake right so what you're going to do right now is to come here like it says you need to have a good knowledge of linux commands before you can use chrome jobs effect effectively right but if you stick with me you don't need any of this high level knowledge or whatever i will just show you what you need to do as easy as possible so you come to common settings where it says um um once per minute so you want to choose once per minute so once you choose one once per minute every other thing is actually 
fixed to default right so you want to come here that particular link you copy it, you paste it here and you click on add Chrome job but i'm not going to do that because i'm not using chat gpt api for this i'm just using the um, plugins database what it has to actually spin these articles but if you want to actually rank on google i advise you go through this method right so this is very very simple now you just need to come here come back and after you're done with this then you click on save changes then the what happens is all articles that are actually put to draft actually comes to the queue and you don't need to do anything at your end anymore so all you just need to do is just go back to um wp automatic to actually publish that particular um campaign you just actually created on wp automatic so once you publish that automatically once it gets new articles it brings it to this queue and once it's queued for a while once it's done writing those articles um this article gets published on your website as fast as possible so that's how you can actually write high quality content and I, I can actually assure you this style actually gets a lot of content i told you i got over 200 content in just 10 minutes right 200 content in just 10 minutes so this video actually makes sense what you want to do right now is to subscribe to this channel and like this video and if you have any question reach out to me in the comment section and i'll be so happy to answer your questions thanks for watching guys